Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So today I wanted to take a quick look at a Pandora's box 4S attract mode image. So I'm I'm baffled by this. Well, not really. <laughs> I'm not really baffled, but I really dig this. Um, this Pandora's box is pretty slick, uh, you know, with its front end and whatnot. And they're fairly reasonably priced to get a Pandora's box, you know, just by itself or get one built into a arcade stick. It, it's a pretty neat system with most of the stuff that, you know, we can already do on the retro pie, but it's still kind of intriguing to see somebody put together the Pandora's box based image. So essentially what this is, is just going to be a theme for attract mode that has been, you know, sourced to look like Pandora's box and it's just arcade games. So I think that's pretty sweet to be honest with you guys. It, it's, it's the kind of thing I dig because I really love having arcade games mostly on my images so that's what i use mostly and we'll go ahead and take a look at this bad boy real quick and it does look like it's based off of motion blue so if you set a button to go into your displays or to go back to your main display wheel it's going to look like this which kind of ruins the aesthetic not that motion blue ruins anything motion blue looks freaking awesome but the aesthetic of um, Pandora's box is lost. So you get back into one of these guys, and now you're back into that theme. So I think this image actually boots into a system instead of the display wheel to try to keep it transparent, I guess. And then you can scroll left and right through everything, and there's tons of collections. You know, all your typical stuff, Darius, Donkey Kong collection, Fatal Fury fighting games pretty awesome bad dudes that you guys know that's one of my one of my top favorites so this is you know it's taking you know partially it looks like a, a already created theme or layout for attract mode and then heavily editing the systems to look like pandora's box so pandora's box you know it looks slick to me but obviously you know it's it, there's not a ton of different you know, layouts and colors and themes within Pandora's box. It's just all this typical, you know, this layout. So this image, that's all it is. It's going to be this, this layout for all the systems and collections. But this is mostly going to be based on, you know, just collections off of arcade games out of MAME, FBA, Neo Geo, etc., Samurai collection, you got all your Samurai Showdowns. Your 1941, all your, all your shoot 'em ups, Arrow Fighters, Sonic Wings. Pretty neat stuff that we got going on here. Street Fighter collection, so you have, you know, pretty much everything that runs on the Raspberry Pi here. The Street Fighter collection, Superhero collection. Boom. Pretty neat little collection. It does tell you how many games are in each collection down at the bottom. So that's pretty cool. Got all your X-Men stuff. And then your track mode setup screen where you can go back to emulation station, set up Bluetooth, all that good stuff. Arcade Classics, 1,267 games here. Looking pretty sweet. Atari Classics. Capcom Classics, so this is probably going to be all your CPS 1, 2, and 3 combined. Data East, a lot of awesome stuff from Data East from back in the day. Irem, really cool. Your Konami Classics, what the heck is this? Roller Games, what? Midway. We've got the three Mortal Kombats that run. Namco, pretty cool. I'm not 100%, you know, just looking through this list, it looks like mostly everything that's included are games that are going to run 
other than down here. So there is going to be, I spoke too soon, ladies and gentlemen. So this looks like, a, you, you know, I'm not knocking anyone, but, you, you know, a lot of us have done this in the past. You just dump arcade ROMs and, you know, get everything going. But these games are not going to run on here most of these 3d fighters through arcade so that's a you know this day and age to differentiate yourself in images you really have to just put games that will run like you cannot put arcade games that are not proven to run or they just don't run at all um you know that's just a waste of space so to really differentiate yourself you got to put games that are tested and already configured to the emulator to be used. But that was really only the only games that I noticed just kind of scrolling through. Virtual Fighter Kids does not work. None of the Virtual Fighter games, virtual games work. Those are uh, typical mistakes you'll find. The virtual games and then the Tekken games and then the Street Fighter EX games. They either run really slow or they don't run at all. So that's unfortunate. Those are on here, but very easily removed. But it does look like a really good starting point for a solid set of arcade games. Vector Classics, that's cool. And then here's the rest of your arcade. So from looking at the all games list with an emulation station, it looked like we we're sitting at about 3,200 games total. And this image is 32 gigabytes. So it's not too hefty. It's got all your, your artwork scraped. Um, it's, it's looking pretty slick with an attract mode. Everything that I've tested so far has worked. No big deal. Um, there possibly is going to be stuff that doesn't run. Like I already said, some of those 3D fighters should have been removed. But, you know, it's not a knock against anybody. A lot of us have just thrown stuff on there and, you know, down the road found out that they didn't work or that we accidentally put them on an image. So this image, it seems like the same mistake with some of those games. But it's only going to be a handful. Out of these 3,200 or so games that are on here, uh, if, if I were to give my best guess... I would say maybe 15, 15 to maybe 20 tops won't work. And that's just an estimate. I'm not 100%, but that's just from, from my knowledge. Looking at the arcade base sets that are typically around this size, which are around 3,300 games, um, there's typically going to be a, a handful, a nice little handful that don't work or bad ROMs or need to be configured properly to run. Now, I don't have time to test all 3,200 games on this image, but the ones that, I've, that I'm interested in playing have all ran. So that is cool. Let's see. Let's test one game real quick. God, so many games, so many games. Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. Let's see if this runs. And then we get our Pandora's box loading screen. Pretty nice. Let's find out if that's, this bad boy will load up and work. And that's the other thing, too. We do have some bezels set for this. So let's see. Typically with this game, when you, if you don't have the correct ROM or you do not have it set up, it will exit out as soon as you hit start. Nope, oh, this one's the good ROM, so we're good on that. And you got some shaders set. So this this looks pretty slick, actually. I'm I'm really digging this, the uh, the style of how this setup has been done. My only criticism, you know, you might think, okay, well, you know, Mad Little Pixel here is complaining about something he's done before. You know, I'm not complaining so much about the bad ROMs um, because it happens. It, it just happens. It is what it is. But you can easily remove those, so it's not a big deal. My only complaint and true criticism, like I said, the, the handful of games that I noticed that won't work, not a true criticism, um, just something I wanted to point out. But my only real criticism would be 
for the display wheel, you know, that you can set to press a button to go back to all your 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 systems and your collections would have been nice to had stuck with the Pandora's box theme. I think that would have been pretty cool. Maybe, you know, maybe he's got some work ahead of him. Um, so I don't, I don't know a hundred percent how he's working on this. I just seen that this user and his name on YouTube is Gabber 23. And I'll link to his channel as well. So you could peep out what he's got going on. Um, but, you know, I seen he dropped this and I wanted to check it out because there's been people asking about, hey, you know, what's up with like a Pandora's box type image? And I'm like, you know what? That would be pretty sweet. But my hands are full right now with uh, with some images that I'm trying to work on myself. So I was glad to see somebody had already done one. And I'm like, oh, wow, this is going to be sweet. And it freaking is sweet. But I just wish that displays menu had stuck with the uh, the same theme or at least edited it in some way. Maybe instead of motion blue, make that make that bad boy motion green and just change all the blue to green. And then it'll it'll look a little more legit to the rest of the theme. But I guess I can I kinda understand that, you know, the the image boots straight into a system so you know, game select screen instead of the displays menu. That way you have that illusion of it being like Pandora's box and then you can just scroll left and right and you'll never come back across the displays menu. You would never even know there was a displays menu until you set up your controls in order to get there. And this does need to be configured. So you're going to want to put a, a, a keyboard in this bad boy when you start her up and then press tab and go into your attract mode controls set everything to whatever controller you're using and then take take it back to emulation station and set up your controls that way just to be safe or you can just go into retro arch within attract mode and set up your controls that way i prefer to do it in emulation station and go from there that's just me you can do it any which way you want but I, i'm digging this image this is probably going to be one that i i uh tweak a little bit make some edits too and use it for myself. Um, so I'm really, I'm really digging this. I think it's an awesome, an awesome image, an awesome basis to an arcade only image. 32 gigabytes, over 3,000 games, an attract mode image. Pretty sweet stuff. You know, I had an arcade image before. I don't, you know, it's been such a long time since I've used it. I don't even remember what games were on there or how many games. But regardless, I love seeing people doing new stuff. And changing the game up, doing some neat little themes like this, I think it's freaking awesome. So this is going to be one of the new themes, or images anyway, that I wind up using for myself because I really dig it. So hope you guys appreciate the video. Just taking a quick look at this bad boy. Link will be in the description to Gabber23's channel to go peep him out. Smash that like button if you could, guys. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And I will catch you all next time. Boom!